Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Herb and Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so grateful. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for being so kind, for supporting me through this YouTube journey. I am so delighted to have you here. If you're still new and today is your first time, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. This is a beautiful family. We welcome you into this channel, please. And don't forget to hit on that notification bell so that whenever we upload a video, you, you, you get notified. And please give a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section down below. And tell me which country you're watching me from and I'll be so grateful. Today, I have a very wonderful topic that I want to share with you guys. I know most people have talked about this in different YouTube channels. But this one is coming from directly my heart, from my own experience. Because I've experienced it in so many ways and in depth. And that is uh, how you can avoid thieves. Avoid rodents like snakes, cats, and dogs from entering our poultry house. Uh, you know, I have been affected with all of them. First of all, to begin with, is the thieves. Guys, you have to be very careful when you have a poultry farm. Because I don't know why thieves are so much interested in stealing poultry farms. I, I personally, I was robbed tuned to 4.2 million Ugandan shillings in the quest of getting eggs from some other farm cheaply. Because when I sold of my birds, there were these particular farms I used to get eggs from, but there was this one particular guy who contacted my driver that they have cheap eggs. And because my driver knew him, believed in him. So we fell into the trap. Basically, this trap was really so strong that personally I also fell into the trap. I gave the driver the money to go and pick up the eggs and... The way we were robbed, I cannot just describe it in this in this channel. So I want to tell all, everyone there that when you have a poultry farm, be very careful of these thieves. I also have another farmer who, who, who is somewhere, but very close to me, who was also robbed, these ones with birds. This one was robbed with birds. She told me when they sold off their birds, they had a tune of 800 birds in the house. So they decided to sell off around 500 birds. So they were supposed to be left with 300 birds. So after this guys even removing the birds, putting in their trucks, counting the money and giving them, the guys left. When the guys left, they just realized out of the blue that they were remaining with few birds. Only to count, they were left with only 100 birds. 200 birds were stolen. I also have another story where a neighbor was stolen, but it's not very close to me, but some within this area, they had around 1,000 layer buds and the buds had just started laying eggs and they were having it in their garage. These people woke up in the morning only to find their garage empty. All the buds were stolen. And I want to be honest that this is some of the things that make people quit poultry farming because if they steal you to that tune, honestly, where do you start from? Because some people you find that they have started this project with borrowed money and if they steal all the buds, I swear it will be hard for you to start up again. It will totally bring you down. You will hate poultry farming. You will be discouraged. And that is that will really be a very big blow. Like for me, it was really a very big punch at my face. But I was just strong. And honestly, I decided to let it go. My driver tried to go to the police station. But I told him, you know what? Just come back. It has happened, it has happened, it is just a big lesson. Next time, we should be very careful of people that we, we deal with. So people, I want all of you to be very careful as you, plan up to, uh, as you plan to start this project. Just know thieves are always there waiting for you. Because these birds, they steal them and they also go and sell them expensively. Imagine someone stealing up to 1,000 birds. How much do you think that person will get? Because if you sell a bird at... If you sell a bird, let's say, at 16,000 Ugandan shillings, that is a lot of money someone will get out of the 1,000, out of the 1,000 birds. So always make sure that where you're planning to put up your farm, there must be security. And security comes in different ways. You can employ someone to be a security guard there. You can, uh, you can have these dogs at your farm. Or even you yourself, you should put a wall fence and always be at the farm. Or even now me who is at home, who is, who is doing the project at my home, I should make sure that all the time, anything, when you hear birds making noise, 
just know maybe something is wrong wake up go and check what is wrong with your buds but even the security guards sometimes we employ them they are the ones who will end up selling our buds and selling up our eggs from our farm so that is about the thieves let's be very careful about the thieves if we go to issues to do with rodents let's talk about rats i was disturbed by rats very i had so many rats in this farm especially where i destroyed the house where i broke down my poultry house i had i can say i had over 1000 rats these rats first of all they love these feeds a lot and these rats you find that if even the, the the eggs are there if you leave the eggs to sleep in the laying boxes you find they have eaten so many eggs and these rats come with so many disadvantages first of all they scare up the birds at night which delay which which reduces on that laying secondly they are the ones who bring us these fleas and mites into our farms thirdly they eat a lot they eat all our feeds because even where I keep the feeds, you find that rats are so many there that even they eat up to a tune of, I don't know how many cages of, of feeds. So let's try to control these rats. That is why I, 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 I told you last time I destroyed this house and I took some time before bringing in, before bringing in the birds because I really wanted the rats which were there to disappear. Also, sometimes you may have the cats at around because you know the rats they don't the the rats and the cats are not friends so whenever they hear cats making noise they will try to they will try to run away but if there are too many sometimes you find that you can even they will over overwhelm the cats and they will decide not to not to disappear from your farm so if you're planning to start up this project make sure that any any any, any uh, make sure that you try to to, to, to control the rats from entering your farm because once they invade that farm, they will keep on multiplying there, multiplying there. By the time you lay off those buds, it, it will have done so many damages in, in your farm. If we talk about the cats, personally, I had a cat here, a neighbor. I don't know whether it was from my neighbor's home. I really don't know. But this cat, I would enter the farm, I find that a, 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 a chicken has died. And it always affects, it always, it always eats around the neck. So that is, I think it was my mom who told me that must be a cat. And several occasions, I found that cat in, in my poultry farm. And actually, the previous flock, I lost, I can tell you close to over 20, close to 30 birds that I lost because, because of the cats. So these cats, some of them are also very wild. When you bring them into your farm to chase away the rats, be so careful with it. Make sure you know the origin, where it has come from. Or oh, that cat, you've, you're the one who has raised it. This thing of bringing cats from out and into your farm or just from a friend's place and you bring it that to take to 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 chase away the to chase away the rats may not work try to get a cat which is still a kitten and you raise it by yourself that's when you know the behavior of that behavior of that cat and uh, always when you're constructing your poultry house make sure you construct it in a way that there is no entry of of these rats and these cats well it might be a bit hard for the rats because you know rats they can they will always find their way through but for the cat always make sure there's no entry for this cat make sure you you make you 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 construct your house in a way that cats cannot access it because cats are also so that they will just be eating your your chicken time and again and when they get used to this particular farm you lose a lot and that will make you hate this project and it can even make you fail in your poultry in your poultry project when we talk about the dogs personally i have german shepherds at my home actually me i have three dogs two are jam pure german shepherds and then one is local crossbreed local and and i don't know which other breed was that but these dogs also you know they are mine but they disturb me a lot because this other farm which i broke down had entries like I don't know how they used to get their way in, but it, time came, I, I, I saw where they were entering from. They said, there, I just woke up, I found that I had over 30 birds were dead. The ones that they had eaten, I really don't know. And yet even I had fed them at night. They had even eaten their feed. They had even eaten. I don't know what prompted them to enter in the poultry, in the poultry house. So these dogs are also so wild, you know. This, I don't know mine. Mine are just too wild that even when you bring them out, so far they have, even at home here, 
they are not friendly alone a lot they are real even at home here they are not friends with with us the family members so these dogs could enter my farm and destroy birds in fact i think i lost close to 150 birds because of my dogs so please whenever you're going to start this project make sure that the dogs cannot access the farm in fact if it means you fencing where the farm is it is better that even if you're inside the gate just like me again do another fence that you know the birds cannot enter through that fence so that your birds will always be safe and that in that way you really enjoy poultry farming you will really enjoy poultry farming and you you will give me the results now when we talk about the snakes wow i also had a very serious experience with these snakes you know behind my fence the other side uh, there are no houses so before it used to be so bushy it is now that they have started cultivating it but before it used to be so bushy so i suspect that is where the snakes might have come from so it so happened that i also had local chickens around and there's one that had arch baby chicks so one one i could I could I could wake up in the morning one baby chick is, is off. I could wake up in the morning one baby chick is, is not there. So I kept on wondering where these baby chicks were disappearing to. I still didn't have the idea where the, these baby chicks were. Because I could trace around, maybe it has died somewhere and there is nothing. So one time, one of my girls, my daughters, was picking eggs. So... When she was busy pushing her hands inside the laying box, she saw a big, a very big snake under the laying box. So she came out running. She told me, Auntie, I saw a very big snake. I'm like, a snake? Okay, personally, I was also scared because I was wondering where could the snake have come from? But later when I traced it very well, I found that it had come from that bushy, the other bush, from the bushy neighbor, neighborhood. So... I was really so scared. I don't know whether it again ran away. I tried to I tried to put poison so that the snake can this can die or so that the snake can even I tried to put their fish with some poison, but the snake couldn't couldn't eat even these things. So one day my girl again so because she was the one always removing going going to collect that she was the one always going to collect the eggs from the farm sometimes when i'm busy this other side she's the one who goes to collect the the eggs so one time she again saw the snake the, after like a week again she saw the snake she again came out and she said you know what there's really a snake here so that's when i call i call some of the boys around i told them you know what there is a snake there my girl has seen it so far twice so please help me what can we do about the snake so we tried we started removing all the laying boxes out you know all the laying boxes, and these were brave boys whom i called only to see that was a very big honest the snake was really big the snake was really big i don't know because in some occasion i had also baby chicks which were only one month and these birds were around 1200 but i remember an incident whereby a day after Christmas, that was in 2021, on Boxing Day, I woke up in the morning only to find 151 one-month-old chicks were piled in a particular corner and they were all dead. You people, I was speechless. You know, after brooding the birds, removing them from the brooder, taking them to the main farm, and only to find, we wake up in the morning and find 120, 150, 51 of them dead in a particular corner. So I tried to consult even my mom. She was like, you know what? Might be, it might be a snake. Because I wondered how all these baby chicks, I, they were not chicks because they were already one month, how they all got piled into a corner. So now this, I will remove these chicks and really we did what? We just decided to bury all of them and that case was gone. So now a week later is when again my girl saw a snake. So when I called up these boys, they really tried to search everywhere and only to find a very big snake but it was hidden under the laying boxes. We killed the snake and really the snake was so big. Honestly, it was so big. Now imagine if it had maybe bitten mine beaten my my girl how what would have happened so 
what am I trying to to say here? Let us try to to put our poultry houses where we know it is safe, free from these snakes, where it is not bushy. Let's even try to clear around around the bushes which are around. Well, let us even try to clear the bushes which are around. Let's try to look for all the possible entries from our farms where we think the snakes can access and enter from and we try to make sure we destroy them because they will not only end in chicken they might even arm a human being they might even arm you so i think me that is that was my experience with that with the snakes so eggs and birds the dogs also love them the cats also love them. The rats basically do not eat the chicken, but they also eat the eggs. I've seen them eat the eggs, so many eggs, and they also eat the feeds. But also the damage they bring in the farm, in that they bring so many fleas, they bring so many lice, so many mites, and they also scare up these birds because the more they keep running up and down at night, running up and down at night, they are scaring your birds. And that might even retard on the growth and, um, and, and the laying of your, of your birds. So let's try to endeavor that. We always try to avoid all this. If we really want this poultry farming to move on smoothly for us. Because at the end of the day, we love doing poultry farming. It is our passion. But let us not forget that it is also a business that we are investing in. And after invest, investing your money, you must be able to get out something. Much as you're doing it out of passion, out of love, but it is also a side business that you want to get something or it might some for someone out there it might be a full time job that must get out some profits. So let's try to avoid all these cats, all these rats, all these snakes, even the dogs, even these thieves. These thieves we should even avoid them more and more so that this project can move on smoothly for us. So for today, I hope you have picked something from our class. I call this now our class because we are always learning different things. You're always giving me your different opinions. So I think for today, I can end here. Please, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. And if it's your first time here, please, please, from the bottom of my heart, let's consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Let's move this channel to 5,000 subscribers. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Let's share this video. Let's comment in the comment section down below. Tell me which country you're watching me from and I'll be so grateful. So for today, let's stop here. See you next time. Bye-bye.